Enroute Pro is our 3D version of Enroute software. And this version allows you to create 3D parts using 2D geometries, using 3D mesh objects or clip arts from other programs or websites, and using bitmaps to create textures and, and many more different ways to create textures. But in this example, we're just going to show you a little part that we're going to create using some 2D geometry and clip art and add some texture to it. So let's start off here by starting a new file. And this is going to ask us to define our plate. And here we have a plate size of 30 inches by 20 inches by one and a half inches. So this is just your XYZ parameters. And we're going to surf the, surface this at the top of the plate. And this is going to be something you'll consider when it comes time to output this to a file. Once I hit OK, I can see that I have the plate represented on screen here with the red rectangle. And next I'm going to create some 2D geometries that I'm going to use in this design. And we'll start off by coming to the oval tool. And there are a number of ways to construct an oval or ellipse. And I'm going to start by putting in two different corners. So we'll start one corner at 0, 0, and the other corner at 30 by 20. And that will, as we can see in the preview here, create an ellipse just the size of our plate. Now I'm going to select the ellipse. And we can go to the draw menu here to create an offset. Or once you learn the toolbar buttons, it makes things a little faster. And here we have some parameters. We're going to have a single offset, one inch from the edge, and inline rounded. We're going to hit apply there, and that preview showed us what was going to apply, so we can get a visual representation. And now I have two geometries here. One other thing I'm going to bring in is a 2D geometry that's just going to be an arc segment. So I'm going to go to draw arc. I'm going to click a middle point, go out to the zero direction, and then with the shift key down, sweep over to 180. It just makes it a little easy to draw that little segment there. And I'll use the precision input center to rescale this down to a one inch width. And this is going to match, this, the width of this profile is going to match the width of this offset here. That way I can use this to create a little rounded edge here. And uh, our last thing we're going to want is we would want the actual 3D clip art. So, uh, we will go ahead and go up here and bring that in by hitting the import button. And we have a, a STL import format. And this is a 3D mesh import STL. And then route can handle any type of, uh, a few different formats of STL, say any type, but we can handle STL, 3D Studio, and Wave Front Object File, 3D DXF. So there's a number of formats. But with STL, we, we can actually go STL to release. And, and this is a common format used, and this will allow us to import this Eagle clip art from Vector Art 3D. And you can go there and see a number of clip arts that are available for sale. And uh, it's going to ask us a little bit about this now. It's telling us the size, which is kind of big. So that tells me this is millimeters. So I'm going to hit OK here and uh, see that I have to resize this a little bit. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to come to the surface menu. First, we'll come here and take a look at it and, and see that we can see the, the image that was imported of this eagle. We're going to go to the surface menu and say extract slice. And this tells us to select a, a relief we want to slice, which is this one. We hit our green check mark. And this has created an outline profile of the part. Now I'm going to select this and just by clicking on one of the handles here and holding my shift key, I can reduce this in size. And we can hit Control-5 to center that in the plate. And now I can just use my, my handles or, or be more precise if I want to position this and, and resize this accordingly. All right, so we'll just move this down just a little bit, and, and that looks fine. So the next thing we're going to do is start to build the outer relief. And I'll do that by coming here. Let's just take up just a little bit more of our room there. All right, so we're going to start this by taking the outer relief and go to our surface menu and say create relief. Now this relief is just going to be based on this 2D shape. And we're going to put a flat, no thickness relief here. Next thing we're going to do is using this little profile, we're going to create an, a border around the edge of the part. So with the relief selected, we'll go to surface, go down to chamfer, and we're going to chamfer the edge. Tells us select the chamfering contour, which is right here. And if I want this to be the total thickness, one and a half inches of the relief, I'll go ahead and put a one inch base here. 
this base of one inch plus the height of 0.5 inches will, will be the end result height. And we're just going to hit the check mark here. And now we can see that this has been created. Now it did create a little bit of a fill inside the part, but we're going to come back and remove that anyways. The next thing we're going to do is use this inner contour to remove this, this inner part. And that's where we're going to put this eagle when we're done. And we'll come back here to the surface menu and, and say create relief. With this 2D object selected, I'm now going to modify the relief just inside this area. And here, let's say we want to we want to go down to the lower part of what we're creating. What we're going to create is lower than what's there. So let's say merge lowest. Uh, we're going to call this a, a rounded constant height relief. And let's do 0.25 inches for our height there. And our base would be zero in this point. So we're going to merge lowest, apply. And what we should see happen here is just this middle portion will be sunken down into the part. And we'll hit F12, and we can see now, yes, there is that part. And where we have this 2D shape, or this, this 3D eagle, we can still see where it's located. But now we're going to add this eagle onto this other relief. Before we do that, we're going to check out the height there. If what's there is already 0.25 inches thick, this might just peak a little bit above the edge. So I either need to make this thinner or realize that it's going to peak a little bit above the edge. Uh, let's come here and, and look at this part one more time. And I'm going to hit the F2 button here for the precision input center. And let's just scale this to 1.25. That way, when we add the thickness of this relief of the eagle to the existing 0.25 thickness, it will be exactly the same 1.5 inches thick. All right, now we have two different reliefs here. We have our oval part on screen and our eagle on screen. We want to merge these together, so we're going to go to Merge Reliefs. The wizard tells us select the base relief. Select the relief we want to merge with the base relief. And we're going to add this. So now we can see that we have, if we hit F12 again here, we have now added that eagle onto the other surface. The other shape is still there and it's it's below this part. So we're actually going to come here and just hit the control key and make a copy of that. And then we're going to delete this relief. So this is no longer a relief. It's now just a 2D shape. And uh, the reason why we want to keep this in that same location is for our last part here, we're going to add a little texture to this. And we're going to do so by using this inner, this inner uh, inline or contour and the outline of the eagle relief to to mask where the texture applies. And we could, we could apply a texture of a number of ways within route. It could be rapid texture. It could be parametric textures. Now, in this case, we're just going to do a simple bitmap texture. So uh, we, we do give you a number of textures in the route folder. And we're going to come here and take a look at bitmaps. And we'll just choose our default wood grain bitmap and stretch it out to be the same size as the part. Now, when I select all of these, if I zoom in, you can faintly see you have a blue line here and a red line here. That just tells me I'm going to mask my texture in that area. Now, I'm going to hit Apply Bitmap to Relief. I have a Subtract from Bitmap here. I want to subtract into that existing surface. And using this tool, we'll, we'll create a grayscale image of this bitmap. And lighter colors will go deeper. Darker colors will stay closer to the original surface. And that contrast between light and dark colors is going to produce a texture. So once this applies from this area, we'll be able to take a look here and see how this is going to look from a, a rendered view. All right, I'll turn on the rendered view. And we see that, let's turn off all our layers. And if we hit F12 here, we can see that we've created a nice little 3D part using some 2D geometries, some 3D clip art, and a bitmap to create the texture.